Hi everyone, I just wanted to share something with you. I'm at training for two weeks, so I'm away from home, and I'm over in Tyler, about a hundred or oh, five, five miles away from my house, and uh, we've got this project coming up with synchronous learning and that sort of thing that's going to cover this period of time, so how am I going to cover that? Well, I'm faced with a, not a dilemma, but with an opportunity, and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing uh, as I'm over here in Tyler in one of the uh, dorm rooms at the University of Texas in Tyler. Uh, basically, uh, I'm in a single, well, actually a double student room, and there are two Ethernet connections in this room, of which I'm only using one, and what I'm showing you here is a uh, an Ethernet connection in the wall here at the dorm and I plugged my yellow wire into it which is my Ethernet cable and then from that Ethernet cable I plug the other end into the back of my Macintosh which I also brought with me because it has all my content on it and uh, a few movies and things like that. So here's a close-up of what it looks like connected on the back of my Macintosh. And I'll explain these other two connections here in just a minute. Uh, the white one is the keyboard. So there's my Ethernet and essentially that gives me a connection for this Macintosh to the outside world. I'm on the internet from here. So what I did to add some services here though, since I'm on the internet, uh, I did two things. One, if you take a look at the uh, silver cable that's on here, that is plugged into uh, my magic jack and the magic jack is an internet phone service that's extremely cheap it's very uh, what I would call edgy but it sure works well so I've got phone service over the internet here and magic jack I think uh, on this particular version that I got here it cost about uh, fifteen dollars a year for six years something like that it was, it was uh, a really incredible buy on phone service so that's running over the internet and I can take calls and send calls here also on my Macintosh I have my headset connected which I'm talking to now so I can get a good recording and you can see the telephone that's connected it's kind of an old phone but you can see that that's connected to the other end of the magic jack so basically I have my whole desktop here and everything is working what is not apparent here on the Macintosh is that I've taken my Ethernet connection that's connected to that yellow wire in the wall and I've also turned on my wireless service on my Macintosh and you can do this on a PC as long as you have uh, wireless and a wired connection. You have to have two internet connections and what I'm doing I'm sharing that Ethernet connection out to the rest of my room here and so essentially I've set up my own Wi-Fi network in my room here. So I have my PC that I'm using in class and you can see I'm logged on to uh, Texas A&M here so that it works so I'm, but I'm connected wirelessly here. I also have my iPad connected and uh, that's connected wirelessly so basically the Macintosh becomes my internet router. It's also my Macintosh workstation but it all works very well because I can share that one Ethernet connection out to everything in the room and uh, for good measure because I'm going to need this later in the week I've got a wireless printer connected and that works just fine also so basically you have to consider what were you, what if you were in a situation where you only had one wire to the internet and uh, the ability to connect wirelessly well in this case I can connect everything in my room very conveniently. It took me a couple of hours to set this up this evening but essentially I have my little digital universe and my home away from home in my uh, access to the cloud or what have you right here in my dorm room and I've got all the conveniences of home uh, right here at my uh, desktop.